Roderick Stewart now has 1,199 points in his Trojan career, and he got 28 of them a career high tonight. And here is our Red Lobster, nothing but net shot of the game. And his lad, I mean, off the top of the back one, and that was early in the game, and that's when you knew good things were about to happen. So that's off the top of the backboard, almost an illegal shot if it went over and broke in the plane, but it did not, so we give it the nothing but net shot of the game by Red Lobster. Oregon State getting blown out. Their largest loss is 51 points against Arizona in 1997. It's a 99-48 defeat. Daniel Hackett being defended by Angelo Chakarakis. Nice, that's a beautiful pass. He's a lefty with a right-handed post feed. Not exactly a Dr. Tom Davis post entry, but close to it. But uh, that's one of the things that happened when Gabe Pruitt was out because of the academic trouble. Daniel Hacker was able to get some valuable minutes. Weatherall defending Sevilar. And there is the steal by Kyle Austin. And looking for Weatherall, who's the point guard now. He's out of Calgary, Canada. And instead they get it inside to Njai who slams it home. We did not expect this because this has been an absolute disaster for Oregon State. They were within... Can't get anything to happen, and Daniel Hackett doing a nice job, heads up, looking at each other. 30 seconds timeout, Trojan. Oregon State, only 13 points this half, and Tim Floyd well on his way to a 3 and one start in Pac-10 play. Smashing Oregon State 87-39, and we've got some great Pac-10 hoops coming your way this week. As Oregon, the number 16 team in the nation, and who just knocked off number one UCLA, they are in Tempe to take on the Sun Devils. 7:30 West Coast time, 10:30 on the East, and uh, that will be followed on Saturday with a terrific basketball Ten game. UCLA, USC, hey fans, here's your chance to win tickets to this year's State Farm. Pac-10 Women's Tournament in San Jose on March 2nd through the 5th, or the Pacific Life Pac-10 Men's Tournament in L.A. on March 7th through the 10th. Pac-10.org is the place to go for your chance to win. USC again will host UCLA, who may be knocked from the top spot. North Carolina is taking on Florida State tomorrow. They're number two in the nation. And number three, Florida won. They are 14-2 and two as they beat Georgia. Oh, 
attempt, another steal as Calvin Hampton had that ball in the high post and it's knocked free as it is a 50-point lead. And again, Oregon State's biggest loss, 51 against Arizona when Jay John was an assistant coach there. Dr. Rocket is down the drive. I have to believe, I don't know for a fact, that that 51-point loss to Arizona was probably down in Tucson, I would think. And let's be embarrassed uh, here as whether L takes a fingernail to the eye from Angelo Sakurakis. He's okay. Not to worry. One minute. Kevin Galloway, who hasn't seen much playing time in this game, now in the contest for USC. Seth Carver misses. And battling for it was Weatherall. Carver takes it away and wins. Seth Carver showing some of the two-foot explosion and good, good anticipation on the steal. He's a player, Seth Carver. I mean, he's, you know, once he gets healthy, maybe not this year. But uh, you were talking about the UCLA-USC matchup next week. It's going to be tough for anybody to get a good quality shot off in that game. With the defense of these two teams play UCLA and USC. I would love to see that new beautiful Galen Center absolutely 